From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Coal producer and exporter Tungela in February launched a fish breeding facility at the Los Cop Dam Nature Reserve in Mpumalanga to mitigate some of the impacts of an uncontrolled release of mine affected water in the area. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. This facility is part of the broader rehabilitation plan and it aims to restore the fish population and biodiversity in the affected area. Tungela Communications Head Hulisani Rasivaha expands. Today we're here to celebrate a fish breeding facility that was commissioned by Tungela in partnership with the MTPA. This fish breeding facility was commissioned to ensure that we restore the fish um, species that were affected by spillage of mine water that came from our Grom Dry um, colliery, an old colliery that we used to use that was no longer used by Tungela. Investigations showed the contribution of illegal mining activities to the event. It was indicated that damage to the infrastructure, combined with theft of essential water treatment equipment, was the primary cause of the incident. Rasifaha explains how Tungela approached the issue and the importance of partnerships with the MTPA and other stakeholders as part of this. What we did from the beginning, um, from the time that the spillage happened, we committed to ensuring that we um, rehabilitate and remediate the, the water system following the spillage and a number of activities have been um, commissioned to ensure that we restore the water but not just the water and the ecosystem uh, surrounding the, the areas that were impacted. So this partnership was very key to, to us because in as much as Tungela took the responsibility to get um, involved and, and join hands with the MTPA. The MTPA are the specialists really in this field and in support with other stakeholders, we're able to then um, carry out all the activities of the fish breeding facility as well as the restoration of the water system. The impact obviously in the area uh, from an environmental perspective um, was felt by our communities and especially in the farm, farm, farm areas, in the farming spaces, in the agricultural spaces. So we partnered with all of them so that we would make sure that they know what our plans are and we took them through the plan which was approved by the DWS, uh, which was the Department of Water and Sanitation, which is also a partner in this field. So the, all the projects that were initially um, agreed on as part of the plan have been completed, but the monitoring co continues. So as part of the partnership with the MTPA, we're handing the facility over to them. They will continue carrying out the work that still needs to be done to return to even better con uh, conditions of the ecosystem and the environment. There were lots of challenges obviously because it was something that we never anticipated, very unfortunate, um, but immediately we decided to, to give it all, all our attention. Um, at the time obviously we, need to, we needed to get all, all our stakeholders, the relevant stakeholders involved, the DMRE, the DWS as I mentioned initially and the MTPA themselves to kind of establish the, the level of the impact um, and, and thereby come together to come up with a plan of rehabilitation. So those partnerships were really key for us because it was something that we wouldn't do on our own. So hence the partnerships helped us to get to where we are. We're at a point where the fish breeding facility will also be handed over to the MTPA and they've committed to continue doing research with universities and students to help them with related research. And they've now also um, gotten students from various universities around Johannesburg and um, they will be studying further fish breeding activity going forward. We will continue funding the activities that come out of the the, 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 the project going forward, but what we intend to do is obviously continue monitoring the ecosystem and the, and the water um, you know, um, ecosystem itself to make sure that it has gone back to even pre-incident um, standards. So that will still continue with the work done by the MTBA.
Tungana made a 1.8 million rand capital investment in the facility and has committed a further 1.5 million rand to long-term monitoring of the rehabilitation process, as well as over 5 million rand to address illegal mining. The indoor breeding facility mimics the environment's conditions and has the capacity to breed several types of fish, housing 27 glass aquaria. An external aquarium setup houses larger species ready for reintroduction. The facility is located close to the affected area and the fish will be bred and released on a continuing basis with ongoing monitoring. The water quality has now been ascertained to have returned to pre-incident levels and a resurgence in macroinvertebrate activity has been observed and batches of fish have started being released into the area. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.